I hear the pumpkin scones are really good, so we'll, ch we'll, we'll I guess we'll have this one and have that, have them bring that to us. Perfect. All right. And tea. This is great. And some tea. Yeah. So cute. Would you, would you like what kind of tea would you like? Peppermint. Peppermint. And peppermint. I'll have some green tea. And all right, let's go back and chat. Oh, perfect. All right, perfect. It's a tea party. It's a tea party. We're here with Aaron Carpluck from the titillating, funny comedy, Being Erica, that's been compared to my name is Earl meets Pretty in Pink meets Back to the Future meets, meets sex, sex in the City. Meets Quantum Leap. Meets Quantum it's Leap. It's a little bit of a Quantum Leap thing too. It is, but yeah. the point is she's going back in time and everything that you got wrong back then, you get to change. Mm -hmm. From hairstyles, you talk about virginity. Uh, oh, tea, thank you. We're at Alice's teacup. So, so tell the viewers about the show, Being Erica. Uh, being Erica, it's about a 32-year-old woman who is overeducated, underachieving, meets a kind of fantastical therapist named Dr. Tom, and he gives her the opportunity to travel through time to try and fix all of the regrets in her life. One of the big questions is, is Dr. Tom going to come back? Because at the end of the season, you, things went awry with you. I will say that Dr. Tom is back but it's a very different Dr. Tom. Dr. Tom? Hi. The reason why we're here at Alice's Teacup is because in the second season, you meet a character in a coffee shop that kind of has similar characteristics as, your, as Erica, right? Mm -hmm. There is a new location in season two. I won't give the name away. Okay. Um, but she meets uh, a new character there. I don't want to give away too much about what role he ends up playing in her life, but um, hmm. it's very interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. A little lovey-dovey, maybe? Hmm. No, well, no. No? Okay. It's so it's a pumpkin pie. Okay. Yummy. There's a lot of musical stuff going on this season, right? For some reason, they have Erica singing and dancing a lot, and I'm awful. I'm terrible. Erica, she impersonates Celine Dion. Oh, yeah, I almost broke the camera. Are you talking about her, like, singing or you know, the way she talks? Or? No, her, her actual singing. Oh, wow. Yeah, she, Erica's mistaken for her and kind of plays along with it, but then is put on the spot and has to, has to sing. My what heart song will go you, on. Oh, let's hear a little bit of it. Really? Just a little bit. The entire, everyone in the team. They, you plays. guys want to hear it? Really? Go for it. They're not even, they're not even <laughs> looking at it. Don't play on. <laughs> Where does my heart beat now? Good, good job. I gave you something. Oh, oh. Some, don't throw it. Don't throw the scone. Okay, no. see? Everyone's <laughs> leaving. I love pumpkin. It's good. It's not it's too great. sweet, and it's good. And you grew up in a wow park in Canada? In a na national, national park. park. A national wow oh, park. It's wild there. <laughs> I always think it's funny when I was going to school, some people have to go through metal detectors in the cities, I've heard. Right. And in Jasper, I remember every now and then we'd have to get escorted to school by the wardens if there was elk that were redding or mating, oh. they get very aggressive. I want to hear everything. How's Ethan? Ethan's good. So give my viewers uh, top top three w reasons why they should tune in and watch Me and Erica this season. Top three reasons why you should tune into, oh. For the girls watching, there's some very cute boys on the show. There's some extremely good looking fellas on this show. Mm -hmm. Number two. For um, my favorite episode to shoot is uh, the do-over day. Erica gets a Groundhog Day, a do-over day, in which, and so if you can imagine, you get to start this morning waking up and go till tonight and everything's erased. What would you do? Would you spend your life savings? Would you, mm. I don't know, steal a car? Would you tell off your boss? Oh, wow. Would you rob a bank? What would you do? Stay tuned to the show in general just for the season finale when it all kind of comes together. I didn't know how we were going to be able to top season one finale, mm -hmm. um, certainly emotionally, but the people in Canada that have already watched it, they loved it. And it's it, it was one of my favorite episodes just to see where it goes. And nothing is concluded. In fact, everything's kind of blasted open. So sorry to be so vague. You guys are just going to have to tune in to see how it all plays out on Being Erica. I'm Darius Brown with Miss Erin Carpluck. Can you can say thanks for clicking. Thanks for clicking.